A Texas Tech transfer portal target is set to head out west and visit the 806. Who is it and when does he plan on visiting Texas Tech? Plus, a familiar name to some have emerged in the associate head coach search for Texas Tech. Who is it? Well, we'll discuss that and much more in today's video. Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's RC Maxwell. It's here for the Back to 12 podcast. If you haven't already, be sure to like the video, smash that subscribe button, and smash that notification bell to stay in the know on all things Texas Tech men's basketball, whether it's happening on the hardwood, on the recruiting trail, the coaching cycle, and much more. We've got you covered right here on the largest group of Texas Tech fans on YouTube and the Back to 12 podcast channel. And I'd be remiss not to mention as well the Scarlet and Black Insider. Join the largest, well, growing group of Texas Tech fans on the internet today and stay in the know that quick when it comes to everything Texas Tech men's basketball over on one of the fastest growing sites in the Texas Tech media space in the Scarlet and Black Insider. Austin Massey, Jacob Harris, and I'd like to think myself are doing a great job of keeping y'all all informed. So head on over there. The link will be in the description in the comments below. All right, let's get into the potential Texas Tech transfer portal target official visit to happen soon. I told y'all back on April 4th about this guy in terms of, well, don't be surprised if you hear an official visit set up in the not too distant future for him. Well, here we are. Jacob Harris of the Scarlet and Black Insider is reporting that Wyoming transfer guard Brendan Wenzel is expected to take an official visit to the 806 here in the not too distant future. Details are still being ironed out, but expect it to happen here in the next 10 to 14 days. Now, he also is expected to visit TCU, who just got a commitment from Frankie Collins um, on Saturday morning, and then Oklahoma State. So, According to Harris, that's really what's going to happen here in terms of Winslow. Now, for those that may have missed the previous videos about Winslow, Winslow is a 6'7 guard, one year of eligibility remaining. He averaged just over 11.5 points per game for the Cowboys up in Laramie last season, over five and a half, five rebounds per game, excuse me, one assist, but shot 37.7% from three. He can guard multiple positions, mostly one through three. You feel okay if it's a smaller four. He can guard, but has an extremely high basketball IQ, understands spacing really well, and understands how to navigate screens to get an easier look for his shot, which, as I mentioned, again, he's shooting 37.7% from three last year up in Laramie. A similar build for him in terms of what you're going to see from his length perspective is Justin Gray. He's a better shooter than Justin Gray, albeit probably not as good of a defender as Justin Gray. So I know a lot of Texas Tech fans love the comps. That's the comp I have for him. Now, it's also worth noting, I mentioned this in previous videos, that um, he wants to play in the state of Texas in his final year of college basketball. He is an originally from San Antonio and, uh, well, a little uh, check for Texas Tech when it comes to the boxes and what they check off. His dad is a Texas Tech alumni, so maybe that helps him head out to the 806. I know that the staff is really high on him as a potential sharpshooter, and you can never have too many shooters in today's modern college basketball, especially with his type of length. So do not be surprised if we are updating a concrete visit date for him, but do expect him to be on campus in the next 10 to 14 days, according to Jacob Harris of the Scarlet and Black Insider. Now, I know a lot of y'all are probably here to, well, here, who is this potential Texas Tech assistant or associate head coach target? Well, you're going to you're going to recognize this name I can promise you that. According to Trilly Donovan who reported this early Saturday morning April 13th, a familiar face to Grant McCasland and probably some of Red Raider Nation as well is in the mix and is considering taking the associate head coaching position at Texas Tech. Remember, associate head coach Dave Smart is now the coach at Pacific. So, the name that Trilly Donovan and by the way, you can make fun of his name all you want, but Trilly is connected. He has his fingers on the pulse of everything college basketball over on his Discord, and I highly recommend it if you haven't already to go check it out. He is reporting that he has heard rumblings that University of North Texas head coach Ross Hodge is considering taking the Texas Tech associate head coaching position for the men's basketball staff. Now, a lot of people are going to ask, and I'm sure a lot of people asked as soon as I just said that, why would he do that? Let's get into that here in just a second. But a little bit background on Hodge. He was on the Grant McCaslin staff at UNT for basically its totality when it came to 
Grant McCaslin being up there in Denton. He took over for Grant McCaslin as the head coach at North Texas last year and went 19 and 15 for the Maine Green and actually finished seventh in the American Athletic Conference. He is known in the industry as an elite defensive mind. I mean, an elite defensive mind and a young elite defensive mind. And he got a lot of credit for those teams that Grant McCaslin had in terms of those teams that were first in the country, third in the country top 10 in the country in terms of a lot of defensive metrics. He was the mastermind behind that. Now, some of you are going to be asking, why would he leave a head coaching job at North Texas for an associate head coaching job at Texas Tech? I truly believe in the current landscape of college athletics, you are going to see a lot more of this, um, specifically in basketball. You've already seen a ton of it in the college ranks. I mean, perfect example is the Georgia Southern head coach this offseason went to Georgia and is now the tight ends coach. Okay, you're going to see a lot more of this because of three letters, and I'm sure you all know what the three letters are. N-I-L. N-I-L is going to just increase the gap between the resources that mid-majors have and those upper-tier high-major programs have, and it's a headache for a lot of these coaches. And now, that's not the only reason he would consider this. It, it, it's not. But that is going to be a big reason why. And you're going to see a lot of these mid-major head coaches take jobs as associate head coaches, assistant head coaches on staff that are you know top 25, top 30 programs in the country. I mean, another perfect example of in football, you had the Kent State head coach go to Colorado to be the offensive coordinator for Dion, right? He was fired midway through the year, and he still got a job at San Diego State. You're going to see this a lot more because it's going to increase the value and have a bigger name on your resume. And more importantly, probably, I think there's just going to be a lot less stress when it comes down to it in the terms of when you're at a mid-major level, you are going to stress about NIL because you know you're just a feeding ground to the upper high major programs. I mean, it's just the reality of it. So I'm not shocked that his name is involved at all, especially with the connections that he has to Texas Tech and the staff. You think about it, Chokey, Matt Brower. Then you obviously have Grant McCaslin connection. There's a couple of other people there in the Texas Tech staff as well that know Ross Hodge very, very well in his time at UNT. So that is the update for today. Again, Ross Hodge, you know the name because he's at UNT. He took over for Grant McCaslin. He is a name to monitor, according to Trilly Donovan, who has heard rumblings that Ross Hodge is considering taking the Texas Tech associate head coaching job. And then also this news, the potential target that will probably set an official visit date here in the not too distant future. That according to Jacob Harris and the Scarlet and Black Insider and the people that he has talked to close to Brendan Wenzel, a.k.a. B-Dub, the Wyoming transfer, 6'7", averaged about 11.5 points per game up there in Laramie. He is set to officially set an official visit date here in the next 10 to 14 days for the Red Raiders for him to come out west to Texas Tech in the 806. And again, it's worth noting his dad is an alumni and Brendan Wenzel has been on record saying he wants to play his final year of college basketball in the state of Texas. One more time, you know the drill already if you haven't done it. Like the video, hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to join the largest group of Texas Tech fans here on YouTube and stay in the know on all things Texas Tech men's basketball all year long right here on the Back to 12 podcast channel.